There's basically no almonds in the almond milk in your fridge right now. Wait, what did you just say about my almond milk? Yeah, there's no almonds. It's just water and emulsifier. See, even Art is shocked. So if there's no almonds in my almond milk, what's in there? Well, it's mostly water, emulsifiers, gums, and oils. And that's a problem which we'll get to in a little bit. But if you pour an eight ounce cup of almond milk like this, there's about five almonds in that cup. And in this whole carton, it's only about 2% almonds. And that's an issue. So in this little expose, we're gonna talk about the best almond milks, the worst almond milks, gonna give you a really good homemade almond milk recipe. Also gonna touch on oat milk and other alternative milks and tell you what the uh, best non-dairy milks for toddlers are out there. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, my friends. The only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that love. There's also a bell icon below the video because we have like six pieces of content going live every single week, including three live streams. You don't want to miss out, so enable that bell icon. And this video is sponsored by maybe one of the longest sponsors of the channel, Thrive Market. They have, wait for it, one of the best oat milk and all almond milks on the market for an unbeatable price, which we'll talk about. And it's shelf stable, and it's my go-to uh, almond milk for making post-workout smoothies. Plus, anything you normally get at the grocery store, your favorite organic, non-GMO, paleo, keto goodies are on Thrive Market cheaper than the store. We're talking per order, you save about $32 compared to going to the store. And best of all, the box comes to your door. And do something cool, download the Thrive app, pull up their price scanner. You can scan anything at the grocery store on the barcode. It'll tell you if it's on Thrive Market, if it's cheaper, which it almost always is, or they give you an alternative that's even better. Um, and Flav City fans, click the link in the description box all y'all get a free gift up to $24 when you join Thrive Market. One of those free gifts right now is a box of grass-fed chomp sticks, and it's 30 days risk-free. Try it out. I love them. They've been supporting the channel for four and a half years, and I think you're going to love them too. So this is the kind of almond milk I used to use for smoothies, and I thought it was fine, but when there's that little almonds and mostly water and emulsifiers, it's a problem because common emulsifiers, gums, and oils like locust bean gum, gelin gum, xanthan gum, sunflower lecithin, they're not bad, but when you stack so many on top of each other, like most almond milks have, it's a problem because it can be very bloating and very disruptive to your intestines. I oftentimes think about back in the day, I used to always stop at Intelligentsia and get an oat milk latte on the weekends with Desi on our walk, and that was my splurge. But about an hour afterwards, my stomach would be killing. That's because oat milk, and especially barista editions, are loaded with gums and oils to help it froth. So that's problem number one. But if you look at the um, nutrition ingredients of any almond milk, there's going to be those emulsifiers. See this one word right here? There's always natural flavors in almost every, even plain or flavored almond milk. You guys know how I feel about natural flavors. It's another word for artificial flavors. There's nothing natural about it. You don't want it. The good ones that we're going to talk about in a second don't have that stuff. And notice how they're always vitamin fortified. There's calcium carbonate, there's uh, vitamin A. They wanna mimic the nutritional profile of cow's milk. The problem is they're using really cruddy uh, synthetic vitamins and calcium carbonate actually doesn't even absorb into your body. It's that cruddy, so you don't want that. And you'll notice the good ones, they don't do that. They just make really good almond milk and they're not trying to make it like uh, cow's milk. And if you get one that's flavored, check the amount of sugar on there. It's always a crazy amount of sugar, which is really, really bad news. So when you go almond milk or any kind of non-dairy milk, plain unsweetened is the way to go. So now that we know that, and now that I don't use something like that, what's the best almond milk on the market? Well, it's probably these two I have right here. This is the best almond milk on the market. It's also Art's favorite uh, name ever. It's Malk, reference to Bart Simpson and the Simpsons. This is great because if you look at the ingredients here, it's three ingredients. It's not a laundry list of ingredients. And it's water, organic sprouted almonds. We'll come back to sprouted later. And Himalayan pink salt, not refined table salt, unrefined Himalayan pink salt, which is really good. And it's cold pressed, meaning it's minimally processed. This is your top shelf uh, milk, right? This is the kind of stuff you might want a cold glass of while having uh, some Netflix marathon, or if you want milk and cookies, this is what I pour a glass of. And something like this I use for my smoothies. Now, another great one 
is three trees, which is actually kind of hard to find here in Chicago for some reason. But if you look at the ingredients, this is this pistachio nut milk. It's pistachios, almonds, almond extract, and Himalayan pink salt. Once again, do you see any uh, gums emulsifiers gels? Do you see any um, vitamin fortified? No, this one isn't sprouted, which I'll get to in a minute, but it's still fantastic. The Thrive Market Almond Milk is one of the best economical ones. This 34 ounce packet, I believe is 249. And look at the ingredients. It's water, almonds, sunflower lecithin is the only emulsifier and then salt. So I'll make my smoothies with this because I'm not gonna use top shelf for that. Think of this as like top shelf tequila, like uh, George Clooney, uh, Casa Amiga style. This is like that. This is like your, your well drink. You go to the bar, you get the cheap well drinks, but this is actually a premium well drink. So this is what you wanna get and the price is great. So when you try Thrive Market, using my link down below, Definitely get this and the oat milk, which I'll talk about. Um, and then Elmhurst. Elmhurst makes a whole line of um, milked almonds, milked walnuts that is just two ingredients. Another great shelf stable one that is um, really good for smoothie. So these are the ones I would get for everyday use. I would stay away from these. Now, I said this one is sprouted. See that word? What does that mean? Malk is the only almond milk on the market that's sprouted because the almond skin, the brown almond skin, has anti-nutrients or lectins. And when you sprout or soak almonds, you remove the anti-nutrient so your body's able to absorb the nutrients in the almonds or whatever you're eating with it. No other one on the market is sprouted. So this is why it's my favorite top shelf because of that sprouting purpose. And even though this is organic, even though the Thrive Market one is organic, you don't have to buy organic almond milk. It's not a Dirty Dozen member, and it's a tree nut. It's protected by its shells. And even if they spray the trees, which they usually do around the uh, tree uh, floor and the grass, they actually don't spray the tree itself because when they shake the tree and all the almonds fall, they don't want a bunch of weeds and stuff in the way when they're picking up the almonds, but you don't have to buy organic. And you might say, what's the difference, Bobby, between a refrigerated one like this or refrigerated ones like this and shelf-stable almond milks like this? These are shelf-stable UHT, ultra high temperature pasteurized. These are high temperature short time HTST pasteurized, which is why in general, I like to buy the cold ones because it's not nuked at a super high temperature. So it still has some living nutrients in there. But once again, I'll buy this for my top shelf and I wanna have these on hand because I like to have a lot of them to use for my smoothies. So that's really important. So that's my breakdown of almond milk and what to buy, what to avoid. Um, but a lot of people like to buy and drink oat milk. Oat milk could actually have even more emulsifiers in there. So make sure you get ones that have minimal to none. Malk makes a great one, but look at the Thrive Market organic one. Two ingredients, water and oats. This is fantastic for making your smoothies or whipping into your uh, latte for uh, a weekend uh, oat milk latte. The thing is, organic is a must, whereas almond milk isn't. Why? We've talked about this many times. If it's not organic oats, it scores high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. So you have to get, in my opinion, organic oats. And um, Oatly is a very popular one on the market. It's not organic, but I did my research. I looked on their website and uh, it is glyphosate free. They do get a check for that, but you have to get the low fat version of Oatly. It's probably the only time in the world I've recommended low fat because the full fat doesn't have fat. It has um, like fat from oats, obviously, because there's none in there. It has sunflower oil and you don't want that. The low fat one has none, but still it has emulsifiers and it has uh, added um, synthetic vitamins. So I wouldn't get that. I would stick with the milk version of that. Or once again, the Thrive Market one's great. We don't drink soybean oil because uh, high omega sixes and it's usually, uh, what's up? You don't drink soybean oil? <laughs> Is that what I said? Yeah. We don't drink soy milk. Thank you, Art. Art's paying attention. We don't drink soy milk because of the high omega-6 ratio. And if it's not organic, it's non, it's a GMO. Soybeans, rice milk really has no nutrition. It's very starchy and very sugary. And pea milk, you have to be careful because peas can oftentimes score high in uh, heavy metals like uh, arsenic. So you really want to avoid that unless you know that it's like California rice milk. Um, so that's what I would do for that. Um, you can also make your own almond 
almond milk. I know a lot of people are watching this right now saying, why are you buying these? Well, you can make your own. We have a recipe in our cookbook uh, for that three ways, chocolate, cinnamon, and strawberry. And on our blog, I'll leave the link down below. Uh, it's super easy and you can sprout your almonds and uh, remove the anti-nutrients. And a lot of moms and dads ask me, what's the best non-dairy milk to give your toddlers if you don't want to give them cow's milk? The answer is hemp milk. Hemp milk will have the closest nutritional profile to cow's milk. Uh, the thing is, most of them on the market um, have natural flavors and emulsifiers. And I think it's very important with kids not to be adding those gums and emulsifiers to their gut because you could be setting them up for problems uh, down the road. So make your own. Um, you could basically just not even soak them, blend them up with water, add some coconut cream, a little bit of maple syrup and vanilla extract. You'll have something so much better than anything at the grocery store. So definitely check that out. I'll try to find a recipe online and post it in the description box because it's super easy and you can buy a big bag of uh, hemp hearts that are loaded with uh, omega-3s and uh, protein and iron. It's fantastic. So I almost did the video art without talking about our favorite. Are oh, you pointing? That's why I was pointing. Art and I, we love, we love and we hate this. So this is Muala. So many people have asked me about this and I never see it at Whole Foods, but I saw it at Jewel Osco in Chicago. Number one is the most confusing product on the market. It's Muala with a picture of a koala. So I don't understand that because it's not a cow. But I do understand this. Look at the ingredients. It's water, bananas, sunflower seeds, a little bit of emulsifier, and then organic cinnamon. It's delicious. Oh my God, I've been using this for my smoothies. I give it to Roasty and she loves it. The only thing is, if you think the name and that is really weird, what gets even weirder at her art? The story. Read the story. This is a muala, pronounced like koala, muala. He has spots like a cow, but lives in a tree. In fact, he is almost like a regular koala, except he picks nut seeds and fruit from his favorite trees, blends them into delicious organic plant-based beverages in a secret muala factory. Shh! He then leaves bottles at your favorite grocery store, hides and waits for you to pick them up. Sometimes he follows you home! <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after. Okay, super creepy. Reminds me of a Chris Hansen to Catch a Predator episode, but he makes a great uh, banana milk. Don't get the flavored ones because they have added sugar and natural flavors. The OG banana milk is really good once you ignore the rest of the stuff on the bottle there. So um, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys found this video very, very helpful. Check out Thrive Market using my promo link down below. Score the best-in-class shelf-stable almond and oat milk for your lattes and your, uh, and your protein smoothies and get that free gift just for Flav City fans. Thrive Market is the bomb. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that love. And the only way we help people put the best quality stuff in their body is by you spreading that Flav City love. Uh, but for Arthur T. Almacy the third and myself, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.